Someone asked this question, I've got order and ship dates and I want to know the average number of days to ship without using a helper column. And below in the comments someone said, I just faced this same question in the interview. No problem, this is an easy one. So brush up and go show off in your interview. Now for this calculation we have order and ship. And before we create a single cell formula without a helper column, let's do the helper column because it will be instructive in figuring out the single cell formula. Now I'm in Microsoft 365 Excel, so I'm going to highlight every single ship date. If you're in an earlier version, you do it one cell at a time. So all ship dates minus all order dates. And when I hit Enter, I get the number of days to ship for each transaction. Now I simply average. Highlighting and enter. Well, anytime you have a helper column and then you're doing some formula that uses that helper column, you can combine them into a single cell formula. So average all the ship dates minus all the order dates. Now close parentheses. And because I'm using Microsoft 365 Excel, or this works in Excel 2021 also, the formula engine recognizes the array operation because we're operating on an array of ship dates and order dates. And this array calculation is the same in any version. The difference is if you have Microsoft 365, all you have to do is hit Enter, and it works. 5.88 days average time for shipping. Now watch this. I'm going to highlight this because it's the same exact formula in any other version, F2, Control V. The difference is in older versions, the calculation engine did not automatically recognize array calculations. When you're entering the formula, you have to tell Excel that this is an array calculation, and then it knows what to do. And the keyboard is Control Shift Enter. Immediately you look up to the formula bar. And when you see those curly brackets, that means Excel understood that this is an array formula. Those curly brackets are automatically put in. You cannot type them in. Now let's compare that. No curly brackets, it just works. In older versions, Control Shift Enter to get the array formula to work. And the curly brackets are automatically put in. Now if you want to learn more about array formulas, I have two books. This is the new school, Microsoft 365, and I have a whole entire book about the old school methods for making array formulas. Now here's your bonus. So during your interview, you can impress them. You can say, hey, in the old days, there were a few functions that understood array calculations without Control Shift Enter. So we simply put our calculation inside of some product. The sum part adds, and then we divide by the count, which in this case is number of rows. I hit Enter, and it calculates perfectly. All right, if you like that video, be sure to click that thumbs up, leave a comment, and subscribe, because there's always lots more videos to come from Excel is Fun. All right, we'll see you next video.